Um, a little background. So the word baptism or, uh, comes from the Greek word baptizo, means to dip. And ideally it was used, in the common language it was used when they would dip uh, a shirt it, or a, a garment into dye. And it means to be identified with. So that garment would be identified with whatever uh, color the dye was. And it was permanent, and that that garment, that item, was forever identified that with that. And so, um, both before the church, because uh, uh, was initially established, because uh, John the Baptist baptized Jesus, and then later, as a church, it was done as a, a sacrament and an important set aside ceremony to say you're now identified with Christ, and and with his uh, death his burial, and his resurrection. And that's why you go into the water and out of the water because it's a, a living picture of death uh, and uh, burial and resurrection. And um, just two quick verses uh, that really speak to this baptism that Quinn and I have looked at is uh, Jesus' great, uh, great commission in Matthew 28, 18 through 20, where he says, Jesus came and told his disciples I have been given complete authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I give you, and be sure of this, that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And so it was a command of Jesus to do this out of obedience, and also it's something that you do in community to, to teach. And now, you know, as Quinn grows in his faith, um, you know, God forbid he, he spiritually hits a, a speed bump 10 years from now, this community will call him into remembrance and remind him of this commitment he's made. That's why it's so important that you're all here. Um, that, he, that this isn't done alone. It's done in a community of believers who love and will keep him accountable to this commitment he's making today. And then the, the Romans 6, 1-7 through 7 says, what then? Shall we keep on sinning so God can show us more and more kindness and forgiveness? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we became Christians and were baptized to, be, to become one with Christ Jesus, we died with him? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be we also be raised as he was. Our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might no might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin, but when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of, the, of sin. So Quinn, can I ask you three questions? Yes. Oh, you're asking right, sir. This is Quinn's words for his testimony. He just asked me to read. Of the baptism, he's asked Lori to pray. At the start of this year, at school, I watched and learned from Mr. Burris, his teacher. I saw the way he talked about Jesus and modeled him. I had a sense, like never before, that Christ was real. That instead of knowing a lot about him, I could know him in a personal way. I knew my whole life that I needed Jesus to forgive my sins, but in the realness, in this realness, I could sense him in my life and not just those around me. I knew this was making a difference because when I did or thought something bad, it affected my thoughts in a deeper way. I knew I was letting God down, not just doing something bad. In late October of last year, my class went down to Nogales, Mexico to work at the Curum House. When I was there, I had a strong sense that Jesus was with and in me, and I felt his joy when I served. I could also sense his pain for others in their need. I'm excited to get baptized today as a way of saying to God, myself, and to all of you, even though I grew up in a home that loves and follows Jesus, today I choose to follow him myself. Today I acknowledge I'm a sinner, saved by grace, and I stand on the finished work of the cross. But Quinn, answer these questions, these three questions for you. Do you confess that you know you are a child of God, exercising personal faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior for your sins? Okay. Do you confess that your intention is to follow Christ in dying to self and desire and living a life of obedience that pleases Him? I do. And do you desire to obey Christ's command to be baptized now? I do.
a twin, based on your public confession of faith and your desire to be obedient to him in baptism, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations.